gradients of functions. Now we already know that if y equals f of x then dy by dx is the same as writing f dash of x. That's our notation when we're talking about functions. And we can get some important results here. If f dash of x is greater than 0, that means that the gradient is positive at whatever portion of the graph we're talking about. So this could be over the whole graph like this. So it's always going up if the gradient is positive. If you think about any point on that curve, we will have a, a, a tangent to the curve that had a gr positive gradient. This means that as x increases, f of x increases. And so we refer to this as an increasing function. So we can use this result that if f dash of x is greater than zero, then f is an increasing function. And conversely, if we think about it the other way around, if f dash of x was less than zero, that would mean the gradient was negative, looking like this. And so it's going down as we increase in x. So as x increases, f of x decreases, and therefore f is a decreasing function. So if we want to show that something is a decreasing function, we look for that result that f dash of x is less than zero. Okay, so some examples. We've got this function of x, and we want to show that f is an increasing function. So, first of all, we will find the derivative. So each of those terms, differentiate them uh, one at a time. Now, x squared is always positive, so this 6x squared plus 5 can only come out with a positive answer. So f dash of x will always be greater than 0 for all values of x that could go into it, Therefore, f is an increasing function. Okay, we'll do another example. This time we want to find the range of values of x for which f is decreasing. So it's not decreasing over the whole function, we want to find out where it is. So differentiate, and we get 3x squared plus 24x plus 45. We want to know when it's decreasing, so we're looking for when f dash of x is less than zero. If we factorise this, then we can draw a little graph of what it looks like to help us out. So this is what our f dash of x curve looks like. And we want to know when that is less than zero. So that's going to be this portion here, and that's going to give us a negative gradient in that portion. Because remember, we've graphed the gradient function, we haven't graphed the original function. We're looking for when the gradient dips below zero. So therefore, it will be a decreasing function when x is between minus 5 and minus 3.